Hey everyone, it's your pal Rudy here. I've gotten a lot of requests for a console port tutorial. So I would figure that I would do a console port tutorial. I'm going to run through the whole process. We're going to do it on like a clean version of World of Warcraft. It doesn't matter which version, but try, try to, try to kind of follow along. All right, so in the beginning, you're going to need like a curse forge. I don't know what your skill level is, so I'm going to assume that you have nothing. You have nothing about this, okay? So you're going to go up to here and you're going to go curse forge, right? So you're going to go on the curse forge website just like this. Click this. And you're going to say get the curse forge app. Click this. Download standalone. That's what I prefer. That's what you should prefer. There's no reason to have Overwolf. Just download the standalone, etc., etc. Okay. Depending on your browser, whatever your download file is, you're going to open the you're going to do the installer, run through the whole process. I already have it installed. So, I'm not going to install it again. So, you should have an icon or on your desktop over here or something in your bar. If not, you know, just hit the Windows key and just type in CurseForge. And you'll, you'll have it after you install it. Very cool. So far, I hope you, everyone's following along. Now that you have CurseForge, go to for all your WoW folders. So if you look on the right here, you can see I have Retail WoW here. So you can see that I have all my add-ons from Retail. Now Classic... I have hardcore because classic hardcore. Now if I scroll down here, Wrath of the Lich King classic, that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Walter's here. He's a little bit scared of thunder. Um, <laughs> little puppy boy, little puppy boy. So from a fresh install, you're not going to have any add-ons. If you did have some add-ons, you could scan your folder, add your folder manually from here. But you're going to go get more add-ons. You're going to type in console port. Very simple. And there it is. Console port 2.6.7 zip install. It's going to download. The bar will eventually reach 100%. At this point, you can go back and go and look at your add ons. You should have console port. This is, for simplicity's sake, this is the only add on that I'm going to put in my folder here to, so we don't get confused, so there's not a million screens that pop up, etc., etc. All right, so at this point, we don't need Curse Forge anymore. It has a habit of staying here when you first download it, so just make sure it closes out. I always like to do that. So at this, this point, we can start battling that. Now, this will be the first time we start up the add on, so we may get a window at the, at the beginning here. This is actually the first time I'm starting this, so... It's gonna be very realistic. It may not be like this for you. Okay, so we'll say load anyway. Okay, so we'll just verify that everything is active here by hitting the add-ons button. Everything's selected, everything's up to date. So we'll pick your character. In this case, it's Rudy. And we'll dive right in. Now, this is where the setup begins. Right from the get-go, the interface bar will start here. So, according to what we know, right? If you're going to use a controller, like a PlayStation controller, maybe you want to switch just for whatever your purpose may be, but... In this case, the ROG Ally, the strongest little device here, is the Xbox console. It will say, do you want to reset all key bindings to their defaults? You want to say, yes. Okay. Alright, so continue. So we'll do that shift. Emulate all to left mouse button is L3, R3. So basically when you press down. So you can change these to whatever you want. I'm going to keep them the same right now. Interact on left click. All this is kind of okay, but without getting too complicated, we're just going to keep this pretty simple. Okay, so you'll see, you can start to set up your skills here, but I prefer not to do it on this page. 
well, you can always come back to this and make sure everything's okay. So remember, you can always do the whole action bar, rings, settings, interface bindings, and it does save a profile for you. But for now, just click through everything, make sure everything's just, just read it. You don't really don't have to do anything yet, right? So you still should have this circular interface. I like to change this up a little bit, shrink my window over here just for cleanliness. Since this is a brand new UI. All right, so your skills, you'll notice X, Y, B, like these all work from the ROG Ally gamepad. Jump, this is jump. So you should, you, this, these should load in naturally. At least they may not be your most popular skills, but but some skills do like kind of pre-populate. I like to usually put mounts over here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but we know we're an assassination rogue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the skills I normally would use, you know, in this slot. So normally, like as an assassination rogue, you would use Sinister Strike and Mutilate. So I want to put Mutilate maybe like right here. Sinister Strike over there. Auto attack's not really that important. Now, I'm using a mouse right now. You can go ahead and just use your finger too. Like see this little tail that's walking around? So I can say... I can pull that hunt for blood key and I can put it right there on on LTX, right? So you can take this over there and see it's already there. So you can do that with no problems whatsoever. So you see hunger for blood is over there. So basically you just kind of got to pick what you want. If you want slice and dice over here, gouge over there. And you can do that with your finger. You can just use, move wherever you want these buttons to be. This is pretty much just all preference. Now your modifiers are going to be your triggers, right? So when I press my left, left trigger, it's going to change the modifier, right? So that's this button over here. See left trigger and then hunt for blood appears. So that's going to be all set up. Same thing with the right trigger. When I pull the right trigger... I have a whole new set of mod, uh, modifiers for skills. So it actually works pretty good in that regard. Like I can say like, oh, well, Garot's going to be really important to me. I kind of want my this up here. This is kind of a defensive. I feel like um, Vanish should also be, um, you know, Vanish should also be somewhere important. So where's Vanish? I don't see Vanish actually. I think it's in sub. Yeah. So vanish is important too. So maybe I'll just put vanish there because that's more like a down. And then like this over here, we have cloak. And maybe, maybe this isn't that important. Maybe I want uh, left trigger. Y could be my slice and dice. So see how it's now over there. So basically, you just put everything where you would like it. All you have to do. On your ROG ally, hit the menu key up at the top, or you can hit escape, or let's see, what else is it? It's it's just the menu key now. So it's the, that three-line key, it's right above the uh, armory crate icon. It's basically like the generalized start button, menu button. If you're using a controller, I believe it is the start button. I believe the Xbox button, PlayStation button will get you here too. So you just hit this, and now you have this interface. Right, you have this interface you can use. So you can use your D-pad to navigate this. Remember this, the, your joysticks will operate your character, but your D-pad will scroll you through the menu. So if you're just using your ally, use the D-pad, and you can scroll through here, you can see controls. So you can do your controls. So you can fade out of combat. I also like, 
I also like always show all buttons. So what that does is gets you familiar with your other skills. So you can see them right away. Um, you can also say hi main buttons. There's tons of different um, kind of options that you can just all set for your preference. Oh, cooldown numbers is very important as well. So cooldown numbers, it's, it's kind of just like your preference, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And uh, yeah, everything changes on your spec. If you have any kind of ability like stealth, like you'll see when I go into stealth, I can do sap from B, etc, etc. Okay, so here's our mount. So another thing is put your mount somewhere where you really want that to be too. I guess like left trigger up is a nice, nice mount bar. Sometimes mount's important, like to have right away. So yeah. So pretty much just get your bars and get all your skills to however you want them, whatever you want over there. Whatever skill you want on your bar, just put it over on your bar. And you can get this all set up. Like, say I want to expose over here. Uh, slice and dice, we already have that. Evasion, backstab, gouge, shiv. Guess we need a good cheap shot. Rupture is important too, so maybe when you want to say like left trigger B rupture. Gonna put in venom over there, eviscerate. So yeah, basically I have this pretty much set up the way I want it. You can add in whatever whatever combinations that you so desire and from there it's just you just start playing same thing with like everything else all right do i want a mount so i hit f left trigger and i hit my mount so it's actually very very simple i guess it could take a little while to get used to this but it's incredibly versatile you can use it for any class I've, I've used it on any class. I don't recommend it for healers. I'm sure if if you are a diehard healer, you can figure out a way to make this work. Like I don't think it's I don't think it would be that bad if you bound all your party targets. Like party one, party two, party three, party four. I think you could you could get away with that. So in conclusion, everyone, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you have any questions, by all means, ask them in the comments below. I basically just did this video to help out. I didn't even plan on making a video like this, but I'm glad that it might possibly help some people. Also, some things to remember, some important things. Make sure that either auto control mode is on or gamepad mode. You can't use the add-on if desktop mode is selected. So just keep it on gamepad. You know, if you know you're doing a gamepad kind of thing, just keep it in gamepad mode. There's not really a reason to go to desktop mode at all. In most games, actually. Or even auto. Auto seems to do a pretty good job. Auto still works here in all cases. So I hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial. Remember, any questions... Please, please, please ask in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in any of the products that I use, and I play MMOs with on my ROG Ally, I have all the things that I use linked in the description box. So if you need a keyboard, mouse, etc., etc., the hard drive I'm using, all that stuff, you should be fine. It should be easy. It should be seamless. There should be no issues. That's pretty much it and if you are having some kind of issues again just just double check gamepad mode or auto but from from the get-go the mod should pretty much install itself it's pretty much just you customizing what skills you want 
what how you want the modifiers to react what you want your main skills to show so just kind of remember all those tips show all skills show cooldowns and you should be gucci and thank you everyone and i hope you enjoy the tutorial and i want to remind you to look good feel good and perform well <laughs>